Hey, hello everyone. So today again I have come up with a new video series. So in this video we are going to talk about how we can uh, use the SSH.NET library and we can fetch the files, rename the file, delete the file from the SFTP server. So let me take you through the okay. So firstly, in order to work with the SFTP the server, firstly we we will see that uh, rebex.net. Okay. So guys, firstly you will have to download one uh, SFTP server. Okay. So uh, this is the rebex tiny SFTP server. This is completely free you can download this server and once you download and install the server so it is completely free you can uh, set up the sftp environment in your local system and uh, these are the credentials you can use these credentials in your uh, code and you can fetch the directory files from from the sftp server all right and uh, guys i will also i have already downloaded this file and uh, let me let me show you that where i have down, downloaded this file downloaded this uh, exe file i will also provide you this link in the description so you can find this uh, link from the description okay so i have already downloaded this uh, zip file here this is the rebex tiny sftp zip file and i have extracted this file so here are couple of files uh, are extracted okay so this is the config file let me open this file okay so you see that these are the credentials like username and password a root directory so you can set these username and password credentials and root directory as per your uses you can you can give any name whatever you like so i have uh, i have already you know set the username and password credentials for the for our practical purpose and i will also use these credentials in the code all right now let me let me copy these credentials because we require these credentials to create the sftp client object so here we are creating the sftp client object and in this sftp client object we are passing these parameters so you see what parameters we require we require host port username and password all right so let me show you all right so this is our exe file so let me run this exe file so you see this is the our server ip address you can copy this ip address and you can pass this ip address over here you can pass the port number as 22 because our uh, port number is 22 on which your server will run and these are your credentials username and password so you can copy your credentials from here username in this and the password is this all right okay so see guys uh, now uh, this uh, connect method so you have to call this client dot connect method which will establish your sftp connection all right now guys i have already set up the code because uh, i don't want to keep this video long i want to keep this video short so you know it would be easy for us so i have already i have already written the code let me go through the code so you will you will have the better understanding about the, the code so i have uh, I have created three methods show files rename method and delete method so in the show files all the files will be fetched from the uh, directory right so in your sftp folder in your uh, sftp server there is a uh, one directory data direct data directory so this is your directory in this directory let me create one file okay so let's create one demo sftp so i have created this demo sftp file okay let me create one more file any file you can create so test so i have created two files demo sftp and test so now these this method as show files so when we will call this show file methods 
show files method then you know these files these files will be shown these files we will be writing in the console right? so what does it mean that uh, whatever file resist in our directory all the files will be fetched so let me run this code our solution is running all right now you can see this let me debug the code okay there is a exception unknown host okay so make sure is don't make any mistake passing your parameters Okay, let me rerun the code. And now this time, let me debug the code. So your no connection could be meant because the argument motion actively refused it. Why is it so? okay all right we haven't started the server okay. right okay now you can see that your connection is established successfully now i'm going to call this show files method so you can see okay so now you can see that so there are four files so it has faced four paths right now let me print the file path so you can see in the console so yeah you see demo sftp.txt and test.txt right and these are the by default directory path right so all the paths have been faced and uh, this path are written in your console now two more methods are there so you have seen that uh, how show files method work it has shown all the files which, res which resist in the directory sftp directory now let me show you that how you can uh, rename the file okay so you see that we have we have one file demo sftp file in our sftp server in our directory demo sftp let me call let me copy this file name because now we are going to change this file name from demo sftp to sftp file right now let me show you so see guys this is the rename method and it will check that this file exists or not and rename method has called now you can see see guys your file name has changed from demo sftp to sftp file right now our last method is delete file so now we are going to delete the file so our file name is demo sftp so I'm passing, I'm going to delete this file from the delete file method. So see, in this uh, delete file method, firstly it will check that your file exists in the directory or not. If it exists, then your file will be deleted from the directory. Alright, so let me call this method. okay let me click on the continue uh, now let's see okay now let's see so see guys your demo sftp so see your demo sftp file is deleted now right so yes this is it so i hope you like this video so thank you so much guys for uh, stay tuned 
and uh, i hope you like this video and i will also provide the i will also provide you the sftp server link in the video description so you can uh, click on that link and you can also download the sftp server and you you can step you can establish the connection in your local environment local system and uh, guide if you like this video please please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so whenever i upload any new video you will get the notification and you can uh, learn the new videos you can learn the uh, new session new topic thank you so much have a nice day